Hi guys and welcome back. It's Charlotte Kelly, aka Little Bit of Sunshine. Hoping to brighten up your day no matter what the weather. And today I'm going to show you some of my favourite vegan alternatives. Because I get a lot of questions asking do I like miss foods that are like not vegan and I thought I'd like kind of debunk the like whole I, all I eat is lettuce kind of thing. So I've decided to share some of my favourite vegan alternatives that I have with me today. So this was all pretty much either in my fridge or my freezer. So they are things that I would have kind of on hand sometimes. Um, and the first thing I'm gonna start with that definitely is probably everyone's like main question is chicken, okay? This is the chicken replacement that I get. It's from Marks and Spencers and as you can see, it like pretty much even looks like chicken. I know a lot of like non-vegans will be like, oh my God, it doesn't look like chicken. I think it looks pretty decently like chicken. Put that in a sauce and you probably would not even notice the difference. But here is the difference, right? Half a packet of this only has 86 calories, yet has 17 grams of protein. So like, hella good. And it only it has less than a gra less about half a gram of fat in it as well in half a packet. So like this whole packet, right? All that chicken, which would definitely do me for two dinners. I don't know about you. Sometimes three dinners, depending on my meal, um, wouldn't even be a hundred, be about hundred and seventy calories, and then it would be seventy and seventy and as well. Thirty four grams of protein. So like, and two not even. Not one and a half grams of protein of fat, I should say. So this stuff is friggin' amazing. Um, it's just made out of soy, but it tastes so so good. I'm not gonna lie, this this has been like a lifesaver for going vegan. They also do chicken nuggets, which I actually know some meat eaters that have tried the chicken nuggets, at, well, chicken nuggets, and um, said they're actually nicer than McDonald's chicken nuggets. I think they're hella good. I haven't had a McDonald's chicken nugget in a very long time. Hashtag gluten life. Um, oh, I think their chicken nuggets are amazing balls as well. I just don't have any on hand because I'm trying to eat a little bit healthier at the minute, but uh, it's not going well if you see my next things. <laughs> so the next thing that people always ask about is milk. The main milk I've been using at the minute is almond milk, unsweetened always. That's just what I prefer. I always have different milks in my fridge. At the minute I have soy milk, rice milk, almond milk, vanilla rice milk, um, dark chocolate almond milk. I don't know if one as well, but I can't think what it is. <laughs> I always have a million milks in my fridge, but this one is definitely the best one I have found so far. In the beginning, I didn't really like this one. I was always drinking oat milk, but then with gluten, oat milk really wasn't an option anymore. Then I swapped to rice milk, and I liked rice milk, I just didn't love rice milk. Then I went back to soy milk. And soy milk is okay, but when I tried this, and kind of got used to the taste of this. It made everything taste nicer, so I put this in cereal, in tea, anything like that. Almond milk is my bae. I will sit down and drink a glass of this, which I didn't use to do with cow's milk, can I just say. I love this with like some gluten-free biscuits or even just to have a glass of milk, which again, I didn't really do when I was just like drinking cow's milk, but I do with this milk because it tastes so good. So yeah. Oh, and for prices of these things, just because people always say veganism is so expensive. I think it's something like 320 or something for this packet, which is like basically the equivalent of like two to three chicken fillets. So like, is it much dearer? No, I don't think it's much dearer at all. And then you have to remember it's like ready cooked, so it like literally takes five minutes to fry, which you know, with regular chicken you wouldn't get. So do I think it's more expensive? No, not really. I actually think I would pay more if I was guaranteed that like it would only have 86 calories in it on all that protein. That food is amazing. Kind of like, that chicken is the best thing Mark Spencer has ever brought out. And then for this milk, um, on special offer I got a three for five or so that's like 170, I'm gonna say 175 a carton. So you know it's not super cheap, but there is cheaper alternatives out there. This is just a tasting that I prefer to taste in this one. There is ones that you can get for like less than a euro, so but this one's just my favourite. The next one, Alpro definitely like becomes a big part of your life when you go vegan. Like it's not even funny. But it's probably the Alpro yogurts. I love the Alpro Go yogurts, but I just can't seem to get them in the shops at the minute. I don't know why it is, it's like Ireland's run out of Alpro Go. So at the minute I've been like munching on this no added sugar Alpro mango yogurt. 
and super yummy and even in this like there's decent protein for 100 grams there is 3.7 grams of protein i guess that's not great compared to the alpro go which is like eight or nine grams of protein but like it is it's all right like it's not too bad like most yogurts don't have that kind of protein and it's so it's kind of good and it's only 61 calories per 100 grams as well so yeah it tastes really yummy and it has like mango chunks in it so it's really nice so that would be like my yogurt now, cheese, another thing people always say, they couldn't live without it if they went vegan. I actually have two different types of cheese, and that is Tesco's Free From Cheese, which is kind of new on the Dublin vegan scene, but has made a big impact, because it's like super hard to get at the minute. And then there's Bio Life that's been around for quite some time, but um, yeah, it comes in like all different kinds of like shapes, sizes, flavors, both of them do. Like I have a spicy jalapeno, Tesco cheese as well. I just haven't tried it yet, so I didn't really want to be like, oh, this is my favorite cheese in case I didn't like it. <laughs> but I have tried this one, as you can see, and I've definitely tried this one. But um, these are always a little bit dear. Right? Vegan cheese can be dear. This was four euro and this was 280, which isn't all that bad. The 280 isn't bad. Four euro for, you know, 10 slices of cheese is kind of bad. But I don't eat it too often, so it's not really a problem. But um, this one melts super well can I just say like it melts like real cheese it tastes like real cheese and it smells like real cheese and for some reason this doesn't really it doesn't melt but well, it doesn't melt properly in my opinion but it doesn't taste like cheese but it tastes nice I don't know how that makes sense to me but it does like it doesn't taste like all cheese used to do to me it kind of tastes like nicer and I enjoy that that flavor that I get from it so I love this on like a roll not melted and I love this one melted. So this is like my melty cheese and this is my not so melty cheese. So yeah. <laughs> now chocolate. I know this is definitely insane for people that I don't get chocolate. I eat chocolate like loads. But this is one that I pick up quite regularly and it's just Lidl's own brand there. Chocolate. It's really really nice. It's like a vanilla -y flavour off but they put like vanilla extract I think it is in it vanilla flavouring but um it just it's really really sweet compared to other dark chocolates that I've tried and it's actually just really nice like I know a lot of people that aren't vegan that eat this as well so it is just a nice dark chocolate and it's just I think it's around 70 or 80 cents for this bar so like it's not expensive um other vegan chocolates that I'd eat would include like Moo Free, Veggio, all them but they're not as like common to get like Little is only across the road so this is probably the vegan chocolate that I pick up the most but like the others I kind of have to get in like Holland and Barrett's and all them and they're a little bit away from where I live so yeah and plus they're a little bit dearer like this as I say this is like 70 or 80 cent but a bar of veggio is 3 or 4 euro so I'm gonna go with this <laughs> most of the time sometimes I splash out on a veggio okay the next one is butter and um, people always like say oh butter like I'd miss butter I use the flour dairy free I don't eat an awful lot of bread but um, when I do I do like a little bit of the dairy free flour on it it tastes grand it feels healthier like it tastes like normal flour and I guess if you don't like flour you probably won't like this there is other dairy free butters out there this is just the one I like because I like to be somewhat healthy in the way I live but um <laughs> so when I can make a healthy option or a healthy choice I will pick the healthy choice but this one's kind of nice I think it's 250 a carton but that is dairy free butters that are literally one euro like dairy free butter is usually cheaper than dairy butter is that what i want to call it so check out like i guarantee you probably walk past dairy free butter like 12 times in the supermarket and maybe you've even bought it and not even realized because they don't separate it or anything like that it's just like there <laughs> But it tastes the exact, like, the exact same as normal flour in my opinion. The next thing I have is these which are kind of new to the corn range. I won't say they're like, really, really new, but they're kind of new. And it's these like chicken free slices and um, they're vegan and gluten free. It's like one of the two things that are in the corn range that are both vegan and gluten free. Corn is not great if you're vegan and gluten free, can I just say. <laughs> But uh, it's good if you're vegan, it's good if you're gluten free and vegetarian, but if you're gluten free and vegan, no. <laughs> Let's just see chicken slices. They're quite nice on a sambo or even thrown into a salad. Like I cut them up and put them in a salad. I think they're two fifty a packet, which is a little bit dear. I do not buy this all the time. It's just it's been missing off the market for a little while. And um, when I came back, I just kind of wanted it. Um, <laughs> but per quarter of a packet, which would be three slices, two slices. I don't know. 
There is 2.8 grams of protein, which I don't think is all that great. I genuinely don't think these are great in general for like health, but like, there's only 24 calories per part of the packet, so I guess if you're just looking for something to add to your salads that would give you a chickeny flavour, this would be good, but I think I'd prefer to just have the Mexican Spencer's chicken to be honest. And now I'm gonna get ice cream. I left that to the very last because it's in the freezer and I didn't want it to melt. So I will go get that and show you now. So these are the ice creams that I personally eat. They are vegan and gluten free and made with soy and they are by Cornell. They're kind of new to the market. Um, when I say new, they're probably out since about March. Um, they taste exactly like a normal Cornell, which is great, but um, the only issue I have with these Cornettos is they always tend to be quite dear. Like, even when all the other Cornettos are on special, these are never on special offer. Although saying that, I got these actual ones on special offer. I got three boxes for eight euro, and they're usually four euro each, so I basically got, like, a box free. Because I couldn't resist that deal, but you get four in a box compared to the other ones you get, like, six in a box. Like, I bought them a few weeks ago when they weren't on special offer and the six in a box, normal ones I'm gonna say, were two euro, but for me to get four of these was four euro and the box and everything was a bit. And I was just saying to myself that if that wasn't gluten free or vegan, that box would be on special offer because it's battered, which usually does happen with damaged things, but because it's vegan and gluten free, they didn't bother to reduce it, which really annoyed me. But um, it is what it is, like that's just, what like happens in the gluten free world but I don't think this is expensive because it's vegan I think it's expensive because it's gluten free like take a walk down to gluten free aisle and you'll see what I mean like everything is like hacked up in prices the minute you put the word gluten free on it but um it, they are they, they are super nice like the carnetal part is actually crunchy the ice cream is really really smooth and really nice I hope to bring out more flavours in the future I don't think that's going to be something that happens in the next year or so but I do think it's something they will think about in the future if veganism continues to grow the way it is grown and um, I'd like to see them like bring out like a strawberry one or like just one that do doesn't have nuts on it just because like I'm not a big fan of the chalk nut carnetto kind of thing like that wasn't what I used to have when I grow up, grew up but there is so many gluten free vegan ice cream options like there is Ben and Jerry's that's vegan and then there's one of them that's gluten free Um, there is Tesco's own brand free from Cornettos like they have a brand of them there is Swedish Galeas Swedish Galeas are definitely lovely they do like magnums and everything else Um, Marks and Spencer's actually do magnums as well and ice cream Um, there's like so many <laughs> ice cream options I can't even think of them Novo do ice cream Um, oh what's the name of that one Oh, I can't think. Oh, Bougie Bougie. Bougie Bougie do an ice cream as well. Um, there's like like all different ones. The only thing is, it's like getting flavours and variety can be an issue. Like, I can't find a nice raspberry ripple, and I can't find a nice choc mint, a mint choc, whatever you call it. It doesn't cost 10 euro a tub. Like, I'm not paying 10 euro for a tub ice cream. But, um, yeah. So that's all the stuff I have for this video. Anyway, if you want to know more about food, check out my Instagram. Like I do have a foodie Instagram to keep people updated on like what's available, what's like what I found, all that jazz, what I'm eating at that time. And it seems to like help a lot of people, which is what I like set up for because when I like had to start all this like the gluten free life and then the vegan life, I felt like I was really being like tossed in the deep end. So I wanted to it to make I wanted to set up an Instagram just to make it easier for people that were going to be doing it in the future and I really hope I've done that um, and I continue to do that and I hope to just keep that YouTube going, no, keep my YouTube going too but to keep that Instagram going I will link it down below of course and I hope to see you all soon. Is there something you think I missed out on or is there something you're saying to yourself, Shauna you haven't got such and such a thing, I, like I don't really know, <laughs> this was genuinely just what I had in my fridge and freezer today but um. If there's more you would like to know about or ask about, don't be afraid to leave a comment down there or comment in my Instagram or you can even like text my Instagram if you want and I will help you out the best I can. So I'll see you all soon. Bye.